So now the important thing is to discuss the different type of surgeries that I perform to help people lose weight. As we know, one of the very popular weight loss methods or weight loss surgeries out there is called the lap band or the adjustable gastric band. The lap band is, was a really cool idea that came up about 10 or 12 years ago. Very, very popular, lots of advertising. As we now know, they were talking about the lap band was going to cure global warming. It was going to take the Cowboys to the Super Bowl. It was going to take the Rangers to the World Series. That really didn't come about. But it was an okay idea that got a lot of advertising. The purpose of the lap band is to make you full quickly when you eat. That's the only purpose the lap band does. Any other type of miraculous characteristics they tried to assign to the band just didn't turn out to be true. It really doesn't do any of the other stuff, and it definitely does not create the hormone changes that I mentioned earlier in this video. The purpose of the lap band is to make you full quickly when you eat. The hope was that by reducing how much you could eat and hopefully changing what you eat, as well as adding on exercise, was going to create great weight loss. Early studies indicated that the band could help people lose about 50% of their excess body weight. So that means if you were carrying an extra 100 pounds, at the end of two years, you could lose 50% of that, or so be it 50 pounds. The problem is we now have much better research. And what we have found out is that the band has an 80% failure rate. That means 80% of people who have the band are not going to lose the weight that they need to lose. The other problem that our research has shown is that it has a 20 to 30 percent complication rate, meaning that the band, anything related to the band, uh, would need a second or third surgery. So imagine that. It's kind of tough for me to recommend to you that you have a procedure that's going to have an 80 percent failure rate and on top of that you have a 20 or 30 percent chance of needing a second or third surgery to take care of anything that could go wrong with the band. What could go wrong with the band, you ask? Well, the band is a device that I put inside your body and it can move up and down in your stomach even though I stitch it into place. Any part of the band could twist or break and the band also has a plastic access port through where we put saline, inject saline into the band and that can flip upside down so now I can't put a needle inside of it. So if that happens, I can't fill or unfill the band. That's why I really don't recommend the band very much. Some people like the band because they say, oh, it's reversible, you can take it apart. But the problem that I have with that is if it's reversible, you go back to being what you were before, which is morbidly obese. Why would you pay money to go through a major surgery for a year or two or three to end up back at point A where you were before? That's why I'm not that much of a fan of the lap band.